All right, guys, update on the 450. So a lot of interest in this car, a lot of things we did using a EFI kit from overseas company. Um, ran into a ton of issues. Uh, we had ignition issues, timing issues. Never could really get everything dialed in where it needed to be. Uh, so everything got trans switched over to a Holly system. So it's a Holly EFI, just to give you guys a quick update. Uh, we eliminated the giant air cleaner that's up here, which is kind of the signature of the car. But the ignition coil packs removed over on top of the valve covers. Um, had an intake made that drops the air cooling from the front as opposed to up here as hot, hot as these engines get. Um, took the original distributor, uh, they made a cover for it and dropped it in so it sets down and picks up the timing off of it. Um, and just really cleaned everything up, got rid of uh, those you know, coal packs and other issues that just, just was a continuous issue since doing the car. Uh, runs and drives great now, so hopefully uh, using a Holly system that's corrected us, which is you know kind of what we've turned to is using mostly Holly uh, changeovers when we're doing the EFI system just for dependability, uh, clean installs, and just everything seems to work so much better. So that's your update on the uh, 1978 450 SL uh, full restoration. We tried to keep the original 450 engine just for the integrity of the car. Um, engine runs fine just constantly fighting issues with that EFI conversion. So hopefully this conversion here um, is just a much cleaner and better solution for the longevity of the car. Uh, and the guy wanting to make a daily driver out of it as much as he can. So, so far, so good. And uh, we're happy and happy to get back to him for the holiday. So thank you.